everyone in this lecture we'll talk about common statistical tests which we commonly use whenever we do statistics for our research for our thesis now there are basically two types of statistics first is descriptive and second one is inferential in descriptive statistics it only describes data like in terms of frequency proportion percentage mean with standard deviation median with interquartile range etc and inferential statistics helps us to describe or to develop a relationship association or correlation between two variables so if we want to reach to some inference we need inferential statistics and common statistical tests comes under this inferential statistics whenever we want to develop any association or correlation so this is what we get from descriptive statistics for example in group a drug a efficacy is around 25 percent and drug b efficacy is around 50 percent so this is what we get from descriptive statistics we can clearly say that 50 percent is more than 25 percent but whether it is statistically significantly high or not then we need to go for a statistical test similarly for the other example which tells you about what is the mean and standard deviation of random blood glucose level in group a which is 133 plus minus 12 and in group b it is 144 plus minus 6 so we can clearly say that mean levels of blood sugar is high in group b but whether this high is statistically significant or not then to comment on that we need common statistical test and how we comment we comment by looking at the p value so what is this p value so next slide will help you to understand or to better interpret the p value for example we toss a coin what is the probability of getting a head it is 50 percent that is 0.5 then what is the probability of getting second consecutive heads if you suppose again toss a coin so what is the probability of getting two consecutive heads so it is 0.5 into 0.5 that is 0.25 or 25 percent then third consecutive head it is 0.125 that that is only 12.5 percent chance we can get three consecutive heads so this is how the probability and p value builds up now what is the probability of twice of tossing the coin fourth time and again getting head it is only six percent but still this six percent is not less than 0.0